We are back at the Kingdom of Champions. Night Vision News on January 27th, 2022. Bringing the kingdom together. This is Night Vision News. Good afternoon, Knights. Thank you for tuning in this Thursday. With the colder seasons arriving, COVID cases are rising more than ever. We still recommend you to please wear a mask during class and keep yourself socially distanced from others. If you have been feeling sick and show symptoms of COVID-19, please get tested as soon as possible and stay home. Let your attendance counselors and the nurse know you may be absent for a long period of time so you can be eligible for remote learning. So the remote conferencing option is really available for a couple of students or two situations. One, if the student is in fact COVID positive, then they do qualify for remote conferencing. The other one is if you are being kept home pending test results, then then is the other time you qualify for remote conferencing. Other than that, it's really going to be kind of gauging it with you and your parents uh, to see if it's something that you know, maybe allergies or maybe it's something that's a little a little sickness and you're not waiting for results, then those are going to be handled through, you know, the original channels, the, the attendance office, excused absences. It's just when really you're pending results and or COVID positive, you would qualify for the remote conferencing. But just something to keep in mind with remote conferencing is you're only allowed 20 days per policy. So we're really making sure that you're using those days for what they're intended for and not just uh, a way to keep online and keep current. So even though you are at home, please check your email and Google Classroom to be up to date with assignments and important information. Thank you. Knights, do you want to win a scholarship? Well, HEB will be holding an H for Community Service Excellence Scholarship. To apply, go to https colon slash slash www.sportsinaction.com slash scholarship slash. The deadline is today. All nominees must have a minimum of 3.3 GPA, a number of community service hours completed in the last 12 months, community service letters to document the number of hours submitted, a letter of recommendation, and a short essay about what does community mean to you. There will be a total of 15 winners, five in each categories, music, academics, and athletics. Each will be rewarded $2,000. Winners will be announced at the UIL Boys Basketball State Championship. Take advantage of this opportunity now. Get ready for a battle against Eastwood Knights. DECA is holding a donation drive for the Women's Center of El Paso. They are taking baby supplies and feminine hygiene products in room 306. The class with the most items donated wins a grand prize, which will be announced tomorrow. So let's defeat the troopers and donate to a special cause. Knights, as you probably know, the district has announced that seniors will only be required a minimum of 40 community service hours. Please make sure you start submitting your mandatory hours to Ms. Pacheco in the Counseling Center. Hi seniors, just a reminder for community service hours, guess what? You only need 40 hours. That's right, only 40 hours. Please see Ms. Pacheco in the Counseling Center for any information or any um, community service hours paperwork that you need. Remember it has to be an accredited association such as a church or a food bank, but I will be able to assist you with any information that you guys need and just go ahead and make sure you come in and speak to me if you have any questions. If you do not have the 40 hours at the end of the year, I'm sorry, it is a graduation requirement. We will have to speak to admin to get that cleared up. Um, please make sure you get them in. Also, if you go over the 40 hours, there's a 300 club and you get a cord. So the more hours you get a cord and at least you get your graduation set in stone. As always, reach out to your assigned school counselor if you have any questions about your community service hours. Don't have a date for Valentine's Day? Why not have a blind date with a cool book instead? Our Hanks Library is setting up mystery blind bags of our awesome library books for you to check out. All you have to do is stop by the library starting next Monday and pick up a bag with a mystery book. It's something that I've been doing for a few years at the library. It's basically where we wrap up the books, something like this and all you get is the pickup line, which is the first line of the book. And once a student decides that it's something that they're interested in, they will check it out without seeing what the title of the book is or what the cover looks like. Once they finish reading the book, they will fill out a Rate My Date card, and uh, basically they let us know to see if they liked the book, they didn't, what, what their experience was. After you read the book and complete the form inside, there will be an event for all participants to meet and chat about their books while enjoying some snacks. The date will be announced at a later time. It's time to announce the Early College Student of the Month. Here we congratulate early college students that excel in their academics and show the traits of a true knight. We've been a little back up, backed up, so we're going to back to last year to announce the Student of December. 
We would like to acknowledge Alyssa Wolgamuth for their outstanding achievements in the early college program. Keep up the great work. Night Vision will be right back. Have you tried China Walk's delicious Chinese food? Located right across Hanks on Lee Trevino, China Walk offers the best Chinese food in town. Try our famous sweet and sour or sesame chicken at the student special of only $5. There are many dishes to choose from, so come on out and enjoy the quality and flavor of China Walk's delicious dishes for lunch or dinner. It's time for sports. Our JV Knights basketball team defeated Delvia High School Tuesday night with a score being 55 to 47. Way to go, Knights. Our varsity Knights took on Delvia High School, sadly falling short of the victory with the score being 37 to 45. The next team will be tomorrow at Horizon High School to take on the Scorpions. Make the kingdom proud, Knights. Our Lady Knights varsity basketball team defeated Delvia High School with the score being 39 to 35, with Jalen Morrison being the leading scorer with 20 points. Way to go, Knights. For JV basketball, the score was 27 to 43. We'll get them next time. The next game will be tomorrow at Horizon High School. We wish them the best luck and a safe trip. After defeating the Yuseta Indians 5 to 4, the varsity soccer team is, is on the hunt to defeat Del Valle and go up 3-0 in districts. The next game will be tomorrow here at the Kingdom at 5:30 p.m. We hope the, we hope to see the Knight community out here and support our soccer teams. The varsity girls soccer team played against the Yuseta Indians and shut them out with the score being 4 to 0. Way to go! The next game will be tomorrow against the Valle, here at the Kingdom at 7.30 p.m. Good luck, Lady Knights. Night Vision will be right back. Yeah, I can see. Just learned to drive, then got a speeding ticket. Going to court is such a pain, and you can't skip school. Luckily, you can hire my company, Traffic Tickets 915, to fight your ticket. Check out our 500 five-star Google reviews. Visit us online at TrafficTickets915.com. And what Thursday is good without a little fun? Or our Night Vision members, Yanis Galanis and Carlos Castillo, have this new joke for us. Bring out the joke of the week. Hello everyone, it's the joke of the week, and as you can see, this is a chemistry hallway. I might as well tell you a chemistry joke. How do you treat a sick chemist? Don't know? If you cannot heal him, and you cannot cure him, then you might as well bury him. Bye. That is all the news we have for you today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow Hanks and all our social media platforms. This is Liliana Rollins, live on Night Vision News. We hope you continue to have an amazing week. Just learned to drive, then got a speeding ticket. Going to court is such a pain, and you can't skip school. Luckily, you can hire my company, Traffic Tickets 915, to fight your ticket. Check out our 500 five-star Google reviews. Visit us online at TrafficTickets915.com. Being able to go out to restaurants and eat during lunch is a privilege no one wants to lose. However, sometimes when you are misbehaving and acting inappropriately in public places, action needs to be taken. If you don't want to be that person who ruins it for everyone, don't vandalize fast food places or act in ways that can drive away their customers. And especially remember that just because you're outside doesn't mean the rules change. Even though we are not in kindergarten anymore, the three B's still apply. Be respectful, be responsible, and be kind. Be a knight.